three, two, one. I fucked up. Here's a little sneak peek of my kit for tomorrow's half marathon. Hey guys, welcome back to Reset Running with Dave. Uh, it's currently Monday morning. It's about 7.30 a.m. The sun is finally out. It's been raining for like the last 10 days straight. So it's been a bit of a punish. Um, I've really wanted to like film a full week of training. So every time I run, just film a little um, bit of content and just run through what uh, I'll be doing for the day, like for the um, training session. Um, but I haven't been able to do that because it's been raining the whole time. So um, yeah, it's meant to be sunny this week. So um, should be able to get some good footage in and I'm going to film all the way up until this Sunday uh, where I'll be doing that half marathon tester. So this morning I've got a 8k easy run. Should take me about 40 minutes, probably run at about five minute pace. Legs are a bit tender, a little bit sore from yesterday's uh, 24 I did. Usually the 24 wouldn't have hurt as much as it did, but um, it was my birthday over the weekend. So I had a few drinks on the Saturday night. Um, and then when I went to run on the Sunday morning, it was just pissing down rain. So like torrential rain. The drinks added with the high heart rate, added with heavy shoes and pissing down rain, just made it a little bit harder. Legs are a little bit more sore today, but um, yeah, they should feel pretty good after this 8K easy. All right, let's do it. You're probably thinking, easy run, why do you look so fast, Dave? And that would be because of these brand new Oakleys. So my mate Jordan got them for my birthday. He said I needed all the help I can get, making my splits faster or something. Cheeky. But thanks, George. Absolutely love them. Whew. Whew. Feeling quick. So a good little trick I've learned. Uh through my running career so far is easy runs. Should be at conversational pace. So what that means is you should be able to hold a pretty decent conversation with your mate if you're running with them. Um, another good little tip is try not to look at your watch. Just run off feel. You know, if you feel a little bit out of breath, slow it down a bit. If you're feeling really good, give it a little bit more, but just check in every now and then. Okay, how am I feeling? Uh, am I going too fast? Because you're really not gonna benefit all that much extra from going 30 seconds faster. Better off just getting K's on the legs, letting your legs recover, so then you can give um, 100% on those speed days. All right, halfway, four K's to go. Easy. I fucked up. It's so sunny, so hot, I'm sweating. Um, and I should have wore a hat. So, I'll know that for next time. Hey, Chili. Eight case recovery done. Uh, now I'm gonna have a cold shower, quick brekkie, and duck off to work. I'll see you guys tomorrow. My pre-threshold session brekkie, banana with honey, ice long black, and this isn't for brekkie, but you'll be getting rolled on the carbs after. I get home from my run, it's still raining, I go inside, have a shower, get out, come outside to this. Clear skies while I ran in pissing down rain, slippery roads, at least we got it done. Uh, even though it was slippery conditions, I still ended up holding a pretty decent pace. So set out to hold 10K race pace, which is around 345. And I ended up averaging around 345 to 355 per um, 2K effort. So pretty stoked with that. I'll chuck the little Strava report uh, on the screen. 
So it's Wednesday guys and it's my rest day so I'm not doing any running so that means no footage but what I did do, I did an in-body scan this morning. It was good to do a little checkup. You can see my body composition history here. I'm in pretty reasonable shape at the moment so 73 kilos, 37 kilos of muscle so I haven't actually lost any muscle from my last scan which is great but I have lost some body fat going from 11.2 down to 10.6 and that was in three weeks. Hey, that's pretty much when I started my um, half marathon training so it means I'm on the right track which is great. Good morning, it's Thursday, 7.30. Uh, Thursday is easy day so I'll be doing around 12Ks. Uh, nice easy pace, around five minute pace there. <laughs> Uh, hopefully run to the water and back. There's a nice little trail run there, run through a nice field. So uh, yeah, it should be nice. It's not the best weather today. It's a bit grim, but we take what we can get. I've just made my way to the trail slash like open field sort of route that I do um, on a Thursday. And also when it's been raining, this trail is just trash. So. I'm hoping it's not too muddy, so I thought I'd just take you guys along with that today. Best part about doing this trail loop Get to run to the water. So nice. Have a look at this. So that is 30 minutes down. 30 minutes to go. All right, 12.6 Ks done in one hour. Average like 4.45, I'll chuck it up on the screen. See you guys tomorrow. What's up, it's Friday. I've got an interval session planned for this morning. 4K warm up. Then we've got 10 lots of 300 meters. Then uh, 100 meter recovery in between efforts. And I'm gonna finish it off with the 2K warm down. So this is my idea of a taper session. Hence why I'm only doing 10 rounds of the 300 meters. I'll probably be doing it at around 80% effort. Just try to keep the legs a bit fresher for when I go into my half marathon test start on Sunday. So that'll be in two days. I want to have nice fresh legs. All right, 4K warm up done. Now into the uh, 10 sets of 300 intervals. Let's go. Every single one So this is not for na 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 I'm just a say you na 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 Have all bad days on na 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 I'm hard to love them but na 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 God knows I need you na 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 And when push comes to shove Forever is never enough For a 2k jog home last tempo session for the week now done all we have left is the half marathon 
tester. I uh, just recently got this Garmin heart rate monitor. It's sick. Top tip, make sure the back of it is up, otherwise it slides down. It was starting to annoy me today, but I figured it out along the way. Um, and when I finished my workout on the Garmin, um, it said it updated my lactate threshold, which is pretty sick. So it reckons that it's 357 pace is like my threshold pace. Um, so I'm interested to keep wearing this and see how it changes as I do more speed sessions because that was the first like tempo interval session that I've done wearing the, the new monitor. Also remember to wear the hat, 50,000 times better. No sweat got in my eyes, stoked. What is up guys, it's Saturday and it's my last rest day for the week. Here's a little sneak peek of my kit for tomorrow's half marathon PB attempt. So I'll start from the bottom. I've got the Adios Adizero Pro 3s with the Tracksmith shorts into the Pure Sport singlet. Got the Oakleys there. Hats, I've got my hydration, so my elements. So that'll be my electrolytes, salts, magnesium, my Garmin watch for pace. My Morton gels, so I'll be having one just before I start and one probably about halfway or just before an hour. Um, then I've got my three, Insta360 camera, get some footage and then the AirPods. That's it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed my week of training. Tomorrow, I've got the half marathon PB attempt. I'll be recording the whole thing. I've got Michaela on the bike recording me. So keep an eye out for a video of that to come in the next week. And as always, if you're new to the channel, make sure you like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.